Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and uh, I thought I'd put out a little video um, tonight. I saw Dana put out a video uh, encouraging people and reminding people of the horrors that is Hillary Clinton. Uh, but I do, I thought that I, I don't know if it's a contra because uh, you probably heard this on my radio show. I don't agree at all that Trump is a viable option. For the first time in my life today, I actually am allowing the low information voters to make a decision because I could not vote for Donald Trump and I could not vote for Hillary Clinton, nor Jill Stein, nor Gary, whatever the fuck his name was. None of those people were acceptable. None. Clinton's a fucking mass murderer. Trump is a sexual assaulter and a child rapist. I mean, it is well known he and Bill Clinton were on the airplane abusing child prostitutes stuck in the cycle of the prostitution ring that millions of children every year in the world are stuck in. And men use child prostitutes and act like, oh, it's their dirty little secret while they're destroying the lives of young women who have been forced into addiction. And that's who Donald Trump is. And Mike Pence passed legislation in his own state that said if you were a gay couple and you went to go get a, a marriage license, you would get arrested. So that's the option. We have like the freaking American Taliban that wants to use women, misogynistic murderers and haters. And uh, believe you me, the KKK hats will come out if by some godforsaken chance the DNC decides not to steal the election. And yes, we know the Clinton murder machine. We understand that. But that's not an option. That putting Trump in as opposed to Hillary is not an equal thing because they're both murderers. Trump just hasn't had the opportunity to murder like Hillary Clinton has. That's all. I mean, he's just, he might as well have. Look how many lives he did destroy. Let's just be clear. This is the fucking fake. This is why I had to put this video out. First thing in the morning I saw, before I went to school, I saw Dana's video that said, showed, I mean, excellent job, Dana. Really great. I mean, you and I had this conversation last Friday that you really think that she's a mer Yes. I, I don't disagree even an eensy about her. But to say that Trump is any better is losing the point of what it means to be the victim of a child rapist. I grew up in a family where the child rapist was our father. And he got away with it. He has a great life. His new family thinks we all fucking lie about him. My stepmother would be mortified if she heard me saying this. But it's the fucking truth. And thanks to God, my dad decided not to rape me. But I have no idea why he decided to treat me with respect. But he did. Me, I mean, I don't think he raped my little sister either. I think maybe he just got tired of it or something. There was just too much grief going on in his life with that. He found other women. I don't really understand it. I do know that he was had serious mental issues. You don't tell your children that God gave you them so that you could be their slaves. And he truly believed it. Him and my mother truly believed it. And believe you me, my story is not uncommon. It gets worse down the road. My sisters who did not get therapy, you should see what they fucking did to their kids. I can't even talk to my siblings. So don't tell me that fucking Trump and Pence are decent options. No, they're not. They may not have physically murdered people, but let me tell you what, they have murdered people. Sexually raping a 13-year-old girl murders her unless she gets help. And very few of the people in society get help because they are shamed into believing it's their fault. They're just too sexy at 13 years old. That's why men want to have sex with them against, really, for money. This is just the fucking bullshit of it. So no, don't tell me Trump is a decent man and a decent alternative because he's fucking not. 
And neither is Mike Pence who wants to put gay people in jail for wanting to make a commitment to each other, which is more than fucking lots of other people can do. I mean, look, all, more than I think more than 50% of all marriages end in divorce anyway, so who the fuck cares? They're high and mighty. Well, it's, this is what God said is good for us. It's like the fucking Muslims telling their women they have to cover their goddamn hair. It's bullshit. You can believe what you want to believe, but guess what? There's only one true spirit. And he doesn't give a flying fuck what we look like or how we dress or what we do. You know what he matters is how we treat each other. Not what we do with our own sexuality. That's the bullshit of it. How you treat your other people, the people, the children, how you respect your children, how you respect the elders, how you respect people you do not agree with. You don't fucking threaten them and bully them. That's what's wrong with Trump and Clinton. They're both fucking bullies and murderers. I, I, it's beyond comprehension to me. And Jill Stein, oh, the Green Party alternative. Her husband's part of the American Murder Association. He's an MD, low-educated medical guy who watches, oh, don't worry, it's just going to hurt a little bit, and you're just going to die, and that's just part of it. Don't worry about it. They're just so fucking used to telling people they get to use to die. Up yours. So, no. Jill Stein's not an option. She's invested in big pharma, which uses people like fucking lab rats, helps destroy our food supply. So no. And Gary Johnson wants to open up the TPP. So, like, our fucking options are... What? Child rapist? Mass murderer? Big pharma murderer? Uh, labor killer? Like slave master? Like really? That's our options in the United States of America? So I picked no. I didn't vote for any of them. And I recognize that that's going to leave it up to the low information voters. I get that. But guess what? I'm not going to pick fucking Trump. Sorry. No. And if the low information voters are going to run the show... We have Clinton. They, the DNC doesn't have to steal it. And I don't have to worry that my kids are going to go to jail. That's the bullshit about it. We don't even have to worry about what's going on in our country because of this. This John Goffman wrote this a long time ago. I think it was published what year? I even think it says it on here. 1999, first edition. Look at the title. Radiation. Radiation from medical procedures in the pathogenesis of cancer and ischemic heart disease. Low dose response studies with physicians per 100,000 population. Per 100,000 thousand population and today I read an article online on Facebook uh, excellent it was really awesome by Dr. Chris Busby but in it he said something like there was a part of it somewhere that said they're not really certain the writer of this article said we're not scientists are not really certain about the harm that uranium causes and some people disagree well you know what's bullshit about that the people who don't want to look at the medical records disagree because John Goffman as early as the 70s this this was his way of trying to convince them that even your fucking medical procedures using radiation are going to fucking kill people so is it worth it and you know what the response from the nuclear industry is yes it's worth it. They think it's worth your grandchildren dying and my grandchildren living a life of death or vice versa, my grandchildren dying and your life of uh, grandchildren or, or the combination of the two. They have a physical life that's just so hard because they don't have the immune system and they fall apart and they get diseases and you can't figure out why they can't have children. And they, these beautiful people die in early death. Why? Because of 
nuclear pollution because of radioactive pollution that has been forced into our atmosphere because of the United States of America. And this is something that I just found out about, folks. The CIA has unlimited funding. Like, what the fuck? Where's Noam Chomsky talking about that? He should never have fucking dropped that thing off if he ever picked it up. Unlimited CIA funding? We have the destruction of democracy in South America, thanks to the CIA. We have the destruction of forming democracies in the Middle East, thanks to the CIA. All of this is coming out. We have the destruction of democracy in the United States of America, thanks to the CIA. And yet we're fucking these motherfuckers. I mean, I'm just fucking beyond belief. I can't even get over these bastards. We just keep giving them as much money as they want. Yeah, please, we'll pay you to fuck us to death. No wonder we don't really take child prostitution for real. And it all does get back to that. The child prostitutes. And let's be clear, Hillary Clinton is guilty of child prostitution herself, or at least covering up for her motherfucking husband, who was on the same goddamn plane with Trump. Why do you think that the Clinton campaign never talks about Trump's rape case, which has gone to jail, which they have been effective in suppressing? Because Bill Clinton and Donald Trump both were seen on Epstein's plane having sex with 13, 14-year-old girls, both of them. So yeah, Hillary Clinton, along with being a murderer, is a uh, such sexual predator. So could you vote for either of those? I couldn't. So I get it, big time. What that means is that we're going to have low-information voters electing the president. And to be honest... I'm sweating beans on this one for the first time in my fucking life because I am scared shitless of the American Taliban. Donald Trump is a sociopath, and you guys have not seen anything yet. He, he has no sense of compassion. He beat the fuck out of his first wife. Why do you think they got divorced, folks? It wasn't some dirty little rumor. It was because he's a fucking misogynistic chauvinistic pig. Honest to God, I do not know how people can think he's even halfway of a decent human fucking being. Well, I see I'm at almost 13 minutes, so I'm going to end or it's start to wind down here because I don't want to get too long on this one. But I know tomorrow's election day, and I would encourage anybody who watches this, please, for fuck's sake, don't vote for Trump. Doesn't mean you have to vote for Clinton, but for God dang sake, Clinton and Trump are two sides of the same fascist coin. You know my feeling. Trump is working for his billion dollar bonus. So my big hope is that Clinton snatches any thought of the American Taliban hitting the White House. And then she gets to fucking die a can lay death and let her go. And then we get to see what wrath this guy came, the big unknown. You know, it's just like Barack Obama, the big unknown. They look nice, but God, they're not. I mean, we're fucked. We really actually do live in a bureaucratic authoritarian regime, folks. I mean, this is where education is exciting for me. Because, like, all these terms. I mean, like, there's actually sociologists who study these things, and they get to tell us this, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, 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 no. We live in a free and fair election. That's the sign of a democracy. Really? This is not a free and fair election. Hillary Clinton stole the election. WikiLeaks is coming out that she, like, coordinated with Bernie, said, look, dude, we'll let you go as long as you can, and then, boom, we're going to slam you down. And, boy, did they fucking slam him down. Slammed us down, too. Sucker punched us completely. And WikiLeaks came out again, just like I had been saying, that they needed to promote the dumb guy to get the right person in. And I'll bet you two to one, if you looked into the uh, GOP elections, you would see that their machines are rigged, too. <laughs> so let's just, this is really, uh, it's, uh, when I say this, we have Republicrats. We have one party in this country, and rats being the operative word. They are fucking eating our arms off, just like in the book, 1984. 
Who would have thought they'd use 1984 and Brave New World as fucking operating manuals? But they did. So you know what that tells us as writers, as people, as thinkers, as idealers, and people who can view the future? Instead of letting us be pessimistic, like the writers in 1984, the dogmatic, the, the people that fell into the social programming, let us think beyond this and heal the people that are in power or help them die quickly and help them pass so that people with good hearts, good spirits can take over and fill their shoes. Because we have a gift as a species and our sisters and brother animals and plants and rocks and everything that's precious on this planet we're all one part of it, and it is up to us to decide that we're not going to participate in the hate machine. Love is greater than fear. See my tattoo? Love is greater than fear. And you know why I had it put here in this kind of Nazi-style English? <laughs> in case anybody wanted to put a chip in my arm, they'd have to look at that and know that I'm not going to be afraid of them. Uh, so... Interestingly enough, fear runs in all of us. Uh, tonight I'm really nervous about not voting, holding my nose and putting a dark spot on Hillary Clinton's name. But I, I fucking looked at that thing like a million fucking, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to vote for Hillary Clinton. I, on, I wanted to, I promised Sterling that if it looked like it was going to be a close election, I promised her I would vote for Clinton even though I hate her. Um, Sterling's my daughter, by the way. But I, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. And and then in reflection, I recognize that it's the low information voters that are going to elect whoever it is. Or it'll be the DNC because they're going to steal it, which either way, I think it's going to go for, uh, I don't know, you know, like, I hope that America does not reflect Donald Trump. And I hope that this guy, Ted Nugent, uh, it broke my heart when one of uh, my, somebody I know on Facebook, uh, who I thought I knew somewhat personally, not a, a, off of Facebook, um, said, oh, I can't wait to go see Ted Nugent. He's my guy. He's Mr. Country. And this was a female going to see the most sexist, racist, misogynistic pig there is. Because white people want to like white people. I mean, let's just get down to it. It's the white people that are really at the hardcore, like, they really believe the colonialistic ideal that the pigment of your skin determines who you are as a human being. And that we are better than any other color. Uh, which is really odd because it really denies who we are as a species. Because who we are as a species is a culmination of everything. This is why if you test somebody's DNA, we all have commonalities. There's only one human species, folks. And we get to think of higher thoughts and, and be loving. And we get to help our species survive. So, anyways, I always say I'm going to end and then I don't. <laughs> so I am going to end. Uh, if you vote for Trump, please don't tell me because I can't stomach it. Like, I honestly, I feel betrayed by people who vote for Trump as a woman. He is... I mean, even before the fucking sex takes came out, we knew who this bastard was. We saw him be implicated in Brian Epstein's case if you paid attention at all to the child worldwide prostitution case that's going on or did go on and has now been covered up effectively. So, uh, I guess this is my response to Dana Turford. <laughs> I love you, Dana. Seriously, like, I really love this YouTube community because people here, we love each other. And we have one commonality that we are one human race. And uh, 
I did not disagree with anything that Dana said, except that I think it really underplays the horror that I believe Donald Trump and Mike Pence represent. And either way, whatever happens, we'll deal with it because we're magnificent beings and only good things come our way. And no matter what happens, we not only will we overcome, but we prevent them from happening. We can actually, just like we're doing now with Fukushima, just like we're doing with the nuclear stuff, now that we've sussed it up, guess what? Our positive thoughts and our things, uh, it's happening. It's creating the current of change. Just like in the Dakota Pipeline, it's coming out. They're not going to do it freely. They're not going to do it without resistance, but that doesn't mean we don't have the power to overcome them peacefully. And so... Um, that's why I say, put your courage feet on. <laughs> Take action, you guys. And uh, whatever happens, you know, we're all going to be okay. But we do kind of know what happens. Clinton's going to steal the show. So I don't know why I'm fretting. So ciao, you guys. Good night.